Bring me the little man. Bring him to the altar. The Lord's doing a work in him right now. That's an angel of fire touching him right now. More. More. Right there. Right there. Fire on him. More. 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 And if you know God is setting this whole family free right now. It began with your miracle, but now it's the whole family in Jesus' name. Bring, bring me that one. Bring me the little man. Bring him to the altar. The Lord's doing a, a work in him right now. That's an angel of fire touching him right now. More. 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 Bring him right here. The Lord's touching him. Right there. Right there. Fire on him. More. 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 Thank you, Lord. Leave him here. There's an angel of the Lord ministering to him. More. 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 Mama, lift your hands to the Lord. Who, who else is with you? Bring them up. Come. Say, be free, son. Be free, son. Be free. Be free, son. Be free. In Jesus' name. How many of you know God is setting this whole family free right now? It began with your miracle, but now it's the whole family in Jesus' name. I break this generational curse. I command every generational spirit to leave this family now. Go, 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 go. Out, out, all the way, uh, all the way. Go out of the little man, out of the mother now. Out, 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 out. Right now, every spirit of disease, every spirit of infirmities, Every blood issue in the body, go now. Go now. 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 Every marine spirit, come out of this family now. I release this family out of the marine kingdom. Go. Out, 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 out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Fire on him now. Go. Fire on him now. Go. Go. Go, go. Hold the little baby for her. You'll be all right, mama. They're gonna hold the little one. It's the Lord touching you. Receive the fire now. Be free, be free, be free. All the way, all the way, all the way. It's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> what do you feel? Feel great. You feel the Holy Spirit, little. <laughs> Lift your hands, little one. Hey, let me hold this for you. Just say more, Holy Ghost. Say more. Let him catch you. Say more, Holy Spirit. <laughs> more. Look at me, little man. Look at me your dad do you forgive him do you look at me Say, tell your dad you're sorry tell him you love him you're free little man in jesus name somebody celebrate the lord come on somebody celebrate breakthrough somebody celebrate revival in a family Every bit of it goes in Jesus' name. Yay. Total healing.
Total healing, mama. Total healing. Freedom. Lift your hands. This is holy right now. This is holy. The entire destiny of a bloodline just got altered right now. Poverty is broken from this family in Jesus' name. Death, listen to me. Death by diseases that was a generational issue in this bloodline. We've canceled it in the name of Jesus Christ. Not one person that is standing at this, that is at this altar will die by disease in the name of Jesus Christ. Alter the family altar in Jesus name hey, Holy Ghost <laughs> I break the spirit of delay off of you man of God I cancel the spirit of sabotage off of you man of God I release prosperity and abundance into your hands, man of God. I remove trauma from your mind, man of God. The fear to step forward, the fear to make the moves that God has put in you. Man of God, you're going to prosper. You're going to have a business. The Lord is going to give you breakthrough. You have nothing to fear, for you will be blessed in everything you put your hand to. <laughs> generational wealth will be your portion in the name of Jesus the things that have been in your heart to do that you did not do the Lord says you will do man of God prosper in the name of Jesus man of God and be blessed pastor Ernest be blessed in Jesus name man of God that's your husband what did he need healing for I knew that he was carrying unclean spirits did you have a, uh, a disease or any pain in your body that you know of? you didn't have any pain in his body blood pressure okay hmm back pain in December a car wreck a car wreck in December and every time he goes to the doctor they give him another pill and another pill and another pill from so you were in back pain all the time you said always He's been ever since the, the accident uh huh and what could you not do because of the accident at first I was fine but all of a sudden it just when I bend over it hurts now it it's, hurts it's hurting right now yeah so you feel pain right now in your body okay from one to ten I wanted to, uh, about an eight okay man of God hold on to this handkerchief just close your eyes God, sit down for a moment in that chair. Sit all the way back. Men of God, you ready to be healed? I want you to grip the handkerchief by faith tightly and then pull it close to you. Stay tight. Stay over here. There it goes. There it goes. More, Lord.
Stand up, man of God. What was that? No pain. Give Jesus, so you better shout better for Jesus. Hallelujah. How's that feel? Feels great. Feels great. No pain at all. No pain. Not even a little. Not even a little. Touch your feet one more time for the for the skeptic. Go ahead. Show them. Yeah. Wow. It all started with your miracle. <laughs> God bless you, family. Don't you love how Jesus just does his thing? My name is uh, Ernest Thomas. My testimony for coming today uh, is thankful for my, my mother-in-law. Um, she's been telling me ever since she came that I needed to come to bring my family. Everything in my household wasn't where it needed to be. Um, I was not being the man that I needed to be. I wasn't following Christ like I needed to. But I've been putting it off for the past three weeks on coming to the Glory Revival. And my mother-in-law just continuously encourages me every time that I see her to keep coming and um, trying to uh, get closer to God. And I'm so thankful that I actually came. Um, my son has been dealing with evil spirits bothering him at school pretty much every single day. And no matter how much I prayed over my son, nothing ever seemed to change. So I started to doubt. But I thank the, um, the Lord that I actually came today and that he actually healed and freed my son, which also healed and freed me as well. Mainly, um, any time that you have doubt, I would just pray that you would ask God to remove that doubt. And my prayer when I walked in this, uh, this evening was that God showed me himself. He revealed himself to me. He revealed himself to my family. And he showed me what I needed to do and how to be a better man of God. And the second I made that prayer, I not only felt it, but then you see God healed my son, he healed my wife, he healed my whole entire family. And I can't thank God enough um, for what he has done for me and my family. My name is Olivia. I was invited by my mother. <laughs> I watched a lot happen tonight. I watched a lot of people be delivered, including my son and I feel like I can now go out and live what I'm being called to do. Nelson was praying and prophesying and you know just speaking the word and um, while we were going through praise and him worshiping and all of that I watched my son be delivered from demons that has been attacking him for a while <laughs> and that was one a scary experience but a beautiful experience and the same. I was stuck and didn't know what to do. <laughs> but it did, it truly helped me and opened my eyes to God and everything that he can do. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Thomas and today was a blessful day for me. I was just, I was just standing praising God until all of a sudden I got the fire in my stomach and I fell to the ground my mom and my dad dragged me to the front and I threw up demons. I've had those demons for a while and they've been attacking me and I had bad situations and now I can fix them with the demons away. And it's been a blissful day for me and um, for the people who did get delivered like me, they get blissful too and I hope I have a good um, time with no demons and all the demons are away from me and I can live my um, blessed life with God and be delivered to his own kingdom on this day forward and this night. We all be blessed to go to sleep, have a new day and have a new life, living it 
freely. Chains are broken and everything. Demons are away. God is just holding us tight. He won't let our soul go. I was listening to gospel music and it, and one of the songs told me and I listened that God is holding on to your soul and he will never let go to Satan or the devil because everybody knows the devil is always a lie. He will get you to trust anybody's lie. And thank you, God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>